Want to know the number one secret to be on top of the world to supersize and grow your business? Sharon horn from here and our idiom, our expression today is on top of the world. Now, this is not the globe. I don't have a globe for some reason. Not I don't have a globe anymore. My kids are grown up, so I don't keep a globe around the house. Used to. Uh, I have one of those jewel globes that the kids absolutely adore. They got it from their grandma uh, a long, long time ago. Geez, probably 20 years ago, 25 years ago when they were super, when they first came out and were really popular. Uh, they had one of those. And they, my ex-husband has it now, but they still love it. But on top of the world means that we're super ecstatic. We're excited about something. We're delighted about it. And we just feel awesome. Everything feels like it's going our way and working out for us. Now, the last couple of years, things haven't necessarily felt that way for a lot of people, especially a lot of business owners and people wanting to grow and supersize their business, depending on what industry you've been in. Uh, this idiom and expression has been around since the early 20th century, the 1920s for sure, and before it started appearing in all of the popular songs. Uh, one of the first was in 1925 by, I think, Leo Feist or something. And his was, I'm sitting on top of the world. And then, of course, the Carpenter's song, which I fear in my generation, you remember, uh, I'm on top of the world, they had. So there's been a lot of songs that use this phrase. But there's also been... Um, it was used a lot in writing in the early 1900s. It, and it was, of course, appeared in writing before it appeared in people's songs. But we remember the songs because they're more catchy and they, they seem to spread and pass faster among uh, more people than the written word does. So what about your business has you on top of the world? What do you love about your business? Share in the comments below one thing that you absolutely love about your business. And if you think about that, you're on top of the world. And the number one secret, because I said I would tell you that, the number one secret to supersize and grow your business and feel on top of the world about it is to focus on the things that you do well, the things that make you feel awesome about your business, the reason you got involved in the business in the first place. If you choose to think about and focus on the strength and the positives and the things you love about your business, it's easy to supersize and grow that business. I've actually given up multi-million dollar businesses and stop doing them because they didn't feel right to me. I've given up six-figure jobs in corporate America because it didn't feel right to me anymore. Things emotionally or the environment or the culture or something what wasn't a match with my core values. So we have to always remember that although we think we're these rational, subjective business people, the truth is we're just like everybody else when it comes to how our brains and our minds and our bodies and everything else work. We are first and foremost emotional feeling beings and then we're business people or you know driven people to create something different in the world. So be on top of the world by focusing on what feels right and feels good to you. Kind of a different one today, isn't it? That's it. Have an awesome day. Any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. You can comment directly on this if you're on Facebook. Or if you're on the podcast, you can message it as well. Just look for Sharon Horn Elstrom or Supersize Your Business. Have an awesome day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another emotion-related idiom. What things mean, where they come from, why and how we might look at them for our business. And hopefully, how we might look at them differently in terms of how they might impact our business or how they are impacting our business and we just haven't noticed it before. Have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow.